This is the 15th video in Chapter 4 for Google SketchUp for Dummies. This video deals with building flat roofs with parapets. So let's say you've got a building that looks a little bit like the one on the screen right here. Now, this could be some sort of a, I don't know, office park building. I kind of threw a half round thing on here just for interest's sake. But basically, the idea is the same. Anytime you have a flat roof on the top of a building, you have something that's called a parapet, which is basically a little edge that sticks up above the top of the building uh, and then goes down. So that's what we're going to build. Um, I'm not going to describe it visually right now because we're about to. Okay, uh, the key to doing this is to going up and getting the offset tool. And when I do that, I'm just going to click on the top surface of my building. I'm going to move this offset tool around until I see that I'm on the inside of that face. So watch, you see that line is on the inside of the face. I'm going to type in an offset, which basically is the thickness of the parapet for my roof. In this case, I did 12 inches. I think 8 inches might actually be a more realistic parapet thickness. And then once I've done that, I'm going to go up and get the push-pull tool and just grab that parapet and pull right on up. And let's go up, I don't know, 24 inches and hit enter. And so what I've got there is a little parapet, basically a little raised edge all the way around the top of the building. Then that's basically the condition on most flat roof buildings. Now, behind that parapet is where people put things like elevator cores and air conditioning units and heaters and emergency stairs and helicopter pads and, I don't know, uh, laser beams, all kinds of things that people put on flat roof buildings. But the parapet serves a couple of different purposes. It serves to hide them and it also serves to um, create a way for the rain to not run down the front of the building. Okay, that's basically how to make a parapet in SketchUp. 